You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go with the start of this round. Big spot in a career full of them for one Daniel Hooker. You got to think one of his fights, likely the Dustin Poirier fight, is going to end up in the UFC Hall of Fame, but not necessarily looking for a war here tonight. He believes skill for skill, he is the better man in this equation and out to prove as much early on. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Hooker. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Big power shot there. Oh, and a beautiful right hook counter. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. good is this one minute into the fight and we got a full-on bro these guys said that they were going to point to the city octagon and they were going to fight did i believe them no so right now i am so wrong they are doing exactly what they said yeah shades of max holloway against ricardo lamas back in the day Punch on target tonight. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Missed with that right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Pimblet shot is blocked. Just over three minutes to go round one. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the iron. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. There's that body shot. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Unable to connect them. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful in addressing right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Just over two minutes to go. And now leather being thrown on both sides. Diving strike land. All big ground strikes continue to land. Right into side control. Check look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be hit. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Hook. Pimlet's eye is starting to swell shut. Nice punch lands over the top. Clipped him with a right hand there. Another hook lands there by Hooker. Straight right, he misses. Now some separation from his clutch position. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Oh, nice. Nice. Ten seconds now in round one. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. 
Oh, he separates from the clinch. He's out! Dan Hooker gets the finish! Oh, my lord! Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Daniel the Hangman Hooker.